Well, many of these horses that you're seeing here this afternoon as they're running for a quarter of a million dollars is the top prize money. Winner for the dash for the cash, so to speak, with 11 of the three-year-old Pacers. And many of those horses had to be moved into this area, and transportation becomes a big problem. Well, Sharon Smith has been watching this problem in horse racing around the country, and she brings us up to date on how it's all done. The horse that is a problem to ship is a racehorse in trouble, particularly in standard bred racing with the traveling grand circuit and the popularity of farm training, a good horse has to ride a lot of vans to get to the major races. It's important that the horse learn very early in life to cooperate with handlers and shipping, first on vans, then on airplanes. It's important for both his racing success and for his health and safety. The main thing is that um, you have a good personnel that know how to load horses and how to unload horses. And right here in this area, we've got a real good vanning system, and they're good, capable people. And another thing is um, having, like, um, good facilities, you know, loading ramps that are properly uh, placed and easy to get the trucks in and out of and, and shoots for the horses that, you know, in some way they're not going to slip or uh, slide off the van. By the time the horse is of racing age, he usually knows all about shipping, lessons that he probably received as a very young horse on the farm. They take the time to um, teach him to load and unload. You know, they'll have a van there on the farm and they'll school him and, uh, you know, work with him that way. Especially if they get one that they think he's going to be a real problem. Mm -hmm. They'll try to school him prior so that, uh, you know, that he doesn't injure himself. It's quite an operation. For example, when we ship our yearlings to Keeneland, uh, we might as well be shipping them to Saudi Arabia for all the precautions we take. Mm -hmm. uh, and, and uh, for example, piling uh, bales of straw alongside if there's a crack between the van and the loading ramp, you pile bales of straw to make sure that they can't get in, get in that, find that crack. Uh, and they, and they basically uh, don't, I don't believe they much like to be shipped. Air transportation can be even more complicated since it's less familiar to the horse. These standard breds are arriving in California from the east and they are calmly accepting the transportation. Some horses have to be tranquilized for air transport and many also require care to avoid impacted intestines. They oil the horse which is is give him some oil to to ensure that he does not get his digestive tract does not get impacted. Horses have a surprisingly enough for an animal that big and that strong they've got a very delicate digestive tract so and and they get impactions colics and and colic is a very uh, devastating disease to a horse and, and quite a few horses die from colic some horses obviously ship better than others and one who travels well has an automatic advantage in races away from his home base